Hello, and welcome to Local to Global. I have created my own company, and we're going to see what happens. It is January 1998, and my company is the Total Matte Gladiators, uh, founded by John Darneal, who is me. Uh, this is in an alternate universe where instead of starting a band, he started a wrestling company. I gave him very fair stats, as you can see, you know, 100 charisma and microphone acting, star quality, sex appeal, just like in real life, you know, announcing color. Very fair stats. He could wrestle if I wanted him to. I would let him. He probably wouldn't be very good at that. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. He is me, and I am him. And it's a completely blank company. I've started uh, the Rock Hard difficulty. So this is what popularity it gave me. Uh, my product is... It's integrated for now. Uh, but it might might change. What's your favorite games? Uh, the Binding of Isaac. This. Uh... WWE games, I don't know. Stuff like that. I like roguelikes and stuff like that. Yeah, look at the global. New, new company. New promotion. Let's go. Nice, nice. Very cool. So now... Oh, right, yeah. The product, it's a Lucha Risu product just because that's what I like. I'm not enforcing heel face, Technico and Rudo, uh, but I, I will still have it a little, you know, just for fun. It's not a very angle focused company. It's integrated for now. I might change that, but I like, I like a little bit of integrated. And I want to start out with a roster that's not very popular. I don't want a very popular roster. My lunch was good. You know, I had uh, some some carrots, some uh, yogurt, <laughs> you know, n normal fun stuff. But I'm doing, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I was inspired. Just, I want, I want some, some cheap people who can work in America, and are really kind of unknown right now. Can you sign a Canadian for me? Who do you want? Do you have anyone specific or just any Canadian? Because if you want a Canadian, I got you because I love Canadians. I am... All of my favorite people are Canadians. My favorite singer, Alanis Morissette. My favorite actor, Michael Sarah. My favorite YouTuber, Northern Lion. They're all Canadians. Every single person I like. It's, it's, just, it's just facts. So, let's sign some people. Air Paris is a good one. I'll shortlist him. He he looks like he would be a fun. Anyone cuz not sure who's in the mod. It's it's 98, you know, whoever was around in 98, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out together. Cuz I I will sign whoever. And uh definitely at least some of them will be Canadian. Got to got to think the Punisher Andrew Martin. <laughs> He's Canadian. That would be a good one. Uh, he's a maybe. Anthony Durant. Pitbull Ant Anthony Durant. That would be a good one. I don't know how many people I want my roster to be to start. Hmm. Just gonna kinda, kinda check who there is. Billy Pearl. That's a new one for me. I don't know that one. Black. Blitzkrieg, that's a fun one. Hmm. Bobby Walker, hard work Bobby Walker. Sorry for the small time, but I gotta go. You're good, have fun. Bye. Hmm. The options are limitless. A lot of these people aren't looking very appealing. Buffy... With the, with the gay gimmick, that's a maybe. I like that. I like that. That could be interesting in 98. Bullpain, that's an interesting one. We'll think about it. 
It's not looking too strong for the under 20 popularity. How good at refing are you? You seem extremely good at refing. Let's hire you as a ref. Billy Pearl I've heard of. Don't know much about him. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Oh my god, Charles Rob. Oh, you're with East WCW. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, Charlie Haas. I'll shortlist you. You're a good one. Okay. This is my first signee. Chavo Guerrero. Ah, uh, freelancer. Interesting. So you're probably not going to be signed long for all at all. But I have to sign you because I'm John Darnielle. So I have to sign you. Mm, Chicky Star. Always always a fun one. Maybe maybe shortlist him real quick. Chavo Classic. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Doing my Mountain Goats theme company. You gotta have Chavo Guerrero. Very important. There's Christian. I don't know how I feel about him. Christian York's a maybe. Christopher Daniels. I'll, sh I'll shortlist him. I'll shortlist him. I'm going to shortlist a bunch of people and then figure out who I want. Colonel Red would be a fun manager. Corporal Robinson would be fun. I like him. I do. Cujo the Hellhound. That's a maybe. That could be fun. You know, someone with someone with a fun gimmick. There's Dan Marsh. How good are you at roughing? Eh, he could be better. Dana White. Nobody knows him. No picture. <laughs> uh, Dancing Wolf. Okay. Danny Doring. I just love Cujo's name. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I, I love to sign guys I've never really seen, but I think could have a fun gimmick. There's David Sammartino would be a funny one, but I don't think I'm going to go for that one. Debbie Malenko. Okay, Debbie Malenko. How good are you, Dick Kroll? How good are you? You're amazing. Yeah, we're, we're signing you for sure. I love Dick Togo. I'm not going to sign him. I usually sign him. David Young is someone I sign at times. Let's see who that is. I don't know this guy. Um, I don't know how I would book him, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know him. There's Dirt Bike Kid. Oh, jeez, Dirt Bike Kid. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a fun one. I like him as much as one can. Disco Fury. Let's shortlist him as well. Uh, Luther would be cool. Luther would be very cool. Duke Drozzy. Let's shortlist him. That would also be fun. Dynamite D would be fun. He's a road agent? Really? At at 28? Where was he road agenting? Edward Fatu. You are Umaga. A.K.A. Jamal. A.K.A. Ekmo. That's who I know you as Ekmo. Okay. That'd be a good one. I think I want you, yeah. Luther Canadian. Oh, cool. Cool. I, I will almost definitely sign him. Evan Courageous? Why is he so unpopular? Easy Money? I used to sign Easy Money a lot. I'll, I'll shortlist him. I'll shortlist him. I haven't signed him in years, but I used to sign him all the time. Fantasia? I haven't really seen any women I want. Flash Flanagan is awesome. I would love him. Fred Ottman, he's not very popular. Wow, I, 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 I would give him more popularity than that. How good are you at roughing, Fred Richards? Not great, yeah. Well, you're good, but you know, you know. Gabe Sapolsky? Okay, okay, could be better. Mm. Gary Albright, he's always an option. Ooh, Gene Snitsky. Oh, that's a short list for sure. I have Flash on Facebook. We've had a few conversations. That's very cool. I have a few wrestlers on Facebook as well, but not him. I haven't used Facebook in years, but still. <laughs> not him. George Steele is 60 and still wrestles in this? Really? Did he? God, that's crazy. Uh, 
I have Rikishi on Facebook. That's cool. I have uh, Victor, and I have um. It, I think I have Tatanka. <laughs> Just some random people. Uh, headhunters. I love the headhunters, but I'm not signing them this time. I usually sign them though. I don't think I will this time. Uh, Alofa, I will shortlist a little. Hector Guerrero, I'm gonna shortlist because he could be a good one as well. Mike Hughes in this mod. Homeless Jimmy is a shortlist. Mike Hughes. I don't know. Hold on. Who is Mike Hughes? I don't know if I know who that is. No, they're not. Unless they're un under some other name, but I don't I don't think I know them. He's a Canadian indie wrestler. That's cool. That's cool. Who did I get up to? I got up to Homeless Jimmy. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I, I do like me some Homeless Jimmy. Homicide. That's a maybe. He's a good one. Horace Hogan. That's funny. Why is he so unpopular? Give him, give him the rub, brother. Horace the Psychopath. Um, Maybe. Maybe. Horseshoe? Ooh. Spent a bit of time in Puerto Rico. That's cool. It's very cool. Ian Rotten, sorry. Sorry, Ian Rotten. I'm not signing you. Jack Black? <laughs> Jack Black? Well, that's a maybe. Ooh. Oh, Jacqueline. Ooh. Luther Reigns? <laughs> Wait, what? What about him? Where is he? Oh, because he's... I see why you said that. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. What was I doing? I'm so dumb. I keep, like, losing my place. Jack Black. Of course, Jack Black. That's who Horseshoe was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I realized you, you, that's what you meant now. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> uh, ooh, Nunzio. A little Nunzio would be awesome. He's a ref? How is this roughing? Not great? Okay. James Mitchell, uh, he, he's busy. He's busy. I, I James Mitchell is somebody I, I sign a lot. You know, JC Ice and Wolfie D could be good. Where? Who? What's, what's the other guy's name? Uh, I forgot. Oh, it's just Wolfie D? He doesn't have another name? Thought he had another name. No, I wasn't thinking of Slash. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, I know he's Wolfie D. I just thought he would be under a different name, like Jamie Dundee. Jason Knight. Uh, I'm not going to pick him up, but that would be funny. I mean, Jason the Terrible I like to have. I just like to have him. Jazz could be cool. I'll think of Jazz. I mean, you gotta get the Hardys. Hold on. Wait. Matt and Hawaii? Who are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah. I want you as well. Jeff Jones is fun. I don't know if I want him, but he's fun. Matt is rosy. Yep, yep. Yep. Jerry Flynn. Hmm. How's Jesse Hernandez? That could be better. Jet Jaguar. You're familiar. Brian Burnick. I know you. I've seen him. Around. Jim Corderas. He's busy with the WWF. Fair enough. Fair enough. Joey Legend could be a fun one. Maybe. I'll skip on Joe Malenko. Joey Styles is over in ECW doing his best. John Cone. Young ref. Only 19. 
I'm going to give him his first job. It's me. John Finnegan. I have enough refs, but he's pretty freaking good. Sandig. Uh, I'll shortlist him. I'll shortlist him. And John See, I'm I'm shortlisting all these like deathmatch guys. <laughs> I'm not doing a deathmatch company. I just find them interesting. Kaz Hayashi is a good one. He's busy though. Okay, Keith Hart. He's still wrestling at this time, I guess. He he would be a good road agent, actually. I'll I'll think of him. I've noticed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I like them. Oh my god, like Kenji. Oh yeah. Shortlist him. Hell yeah. Kid Cash. I, I, I probably want Kid Cash. He's cool. Ooh, Kimona. I'll shortlist her. She would be a fun manager. Yeah, Kenji. So true, Kenji. Hmm. No picture? No picture? Okay, okay. I don't really want Lenny Lane. Lexi Fife. I'll uh, shortlist you. You're a maybe. Ooh, Ivory. Ooh. That would be a good woman to have. There's Lodi. You are, um, Sign Guy Dudley. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Ponda. I'm not. I'm, look. I'll skip on Ponda. <laughs> Sean Harris and Storm, if you want to fact track America's Most Wanted. Uh, no, I'm good on that one. I'm good on that one. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Mando, I have to put on the short list. I mean, having the Guerreros would be cool. This is, um, this is Bad Girl. Bad Girl. <laughs> I guess she's retired at the time, doesn't do anything. Chris Harris! Oh! I was so confused. I'm like, who's Sean Harris? Chris Harris. Interesting. Interesting. Braided Walker? I don't remember this. That's funny. Uh, that, that could be a good one. That could be a good one, actually. And, yeah, he's he's very young at this time. And he's there. That would be a really good hire. That would be a really good hire. Thank you for that. Now that I know what the fuck you're talking about. My mind went... Deleted? <laughs> Brandon Walker was like three to four parents on their ECW fan. Interesting. I don't... Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that. Oh, you are, who are you? You're, um, right, right, Wrecking Crew. Right, okay. Yeah, ECW brand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, there's Albert. <laughs> this, uh, that could be fun. That could be fun. Spike is cool. I don't think I really want him. Oh my god, Maro Ranallo? Really? Uh, yeah, let's sign Maro. Yeah. That's an automatic sign. Who are you? Who are you? I know you. <laughs> Menteo is awesome. Mentalo. I don't know you, but I'm shortlisting you because you look interesting. Black Magic. Hmm. Abbott's stats are decent by the looks of it. That's good. That's good. I I ex 
I fully expect WWE and other companies to steal these people. But I would love to build people. Metal Maniac would be fun. Ooh, Michael Modest. Ooh. Ooh. Donovan Morgan. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe. Maybe. Michelle Starr. That's a good one. Mike Adamley. <laughs> hey, Mike Adamley. I don't want him. I'm good on him. Oh, yeah. Mar Mar Mar's my man. He's awesome. Mike Kyoto doing good work for WWF right now. Oh, who are you? I No one? Okay. You, you look familiar. Mike Jackson. Hmm. Ooh, there's Mike McGurk. <laughs> how's, how's her stats? Okay, okay, interesting. That's funny. Quackenbush? Holy shit, your stats. Holy shit. I don't know about that. I'll, I'll shortlist you. I'll shortlist you. Mike Roch, great name. How are you doing on stats? Why are you incredible? Who the fuck are you? You're like a joke person? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mike Dell's done a lot of work with major promotions over the years. Okay, okay. I guess that's probably why he looks familiar. I just, the name doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> I mean, I gotta at least shortlist Mike Roch. There's Tanae. Milmascaris. Some moon dogs. Manson is the the young one. Uh, Aguila. Ag Aguila. Ag Ag Why can't I say it now? Aguila. <laughs> Poppy Chulo. Uh, what was his other gimmick? Esa Rios. That's the other one. Mister Ulala. That's a fun one. Necro Butcher, of course, Navajo Warrior, lots of lots of good ones in the ends. Nelson Royal is ancient right now, but he's got good road agent stats, so that's a maybe. Who are you? Do I know you? I don't know if I know you. Curious if he's real or not. He does not seem real to me, but <laughs> that that would be funny. Nick Dinsmore rocking some stats, but I don't think I really want to use him for anything like uh, Nick Patrick Nicole Bass I got a shortlist Bass I mean come on Nora Greenwald I will shortlist as well the G anime championship Huh? He owns this company? Mike Roch? Founder Mike Roch! Oh, shit! <laughs> That's awesome! Oh my god, she's old. Olympia got old. <laughs> oh, is she retired? She's retired. I could always ask her to come out. I don't know who Patch is. Paul Diamond. Yeah. Peggy Lee Leather, she's got old too. PJ Black at 16? That's a short list. That's not when he was 16. That picture ain't 16. Oh, Prince Nana. That's a short list. That's a freaking short list. Rasta the Voodoo Man. You sound fun. Reckless Youth is a short list. Oh, wait. Rebecca Lynn, you're a short list. Diamond and Tanaka, a good team? Yeah, yeah, they are. I, I, I sign them a lot. Reggie Bennett could be cool. I'll uh, shortlist her. Rhino would be great. Who are you, Reno Riggins? You're just Reno Riggins. All right. Hmm. Rick Bogner? <laughs> right, right, this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one. My homie Rhino, fuck yeah. Rick Fuller. 
what you got going on? Just just Rick Fuller? Right, fair enough, fair enough. Ooh, Ricky Banderas. Ooh, hello. You got a lot of gimmicks. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I'm going to shortlist you. Ricky Reyes, not bad as well. I'll shortlist him. Rico Suave. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll pass on that one. Ripper Manson, I'm good. Roadblock. <laughs> Roadkill, that's a good one. Rob Conway. Uh -huh. There's always Rob Conway. Robert Roode, I mean, come on. Rockin' Rebel? Uh, I'm good on Rockin' Rebel. He's 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 getting up there. Rocky Ayakea. Rocky King. Ooh, Rod. You're doing great work in NXT right now. I gotta get you in this company, too. Rodney Mac. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'll shortlist him. Rollin' Hard. Well, this guy sounds awesome. I gotta... I gotta at least consider him. Ron Bassett, 40. Okay, well, hold on. Uh, yep, yep. That's signing number one. Yes, Rodney Mack, fuck yeah. Ron Bassett, 49. I mean... <laughs> He's 49, but I'm signing him. Rudy Charles, how you doing? You're doing great. You're doing great. I mean, I have so many refs, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm good on refs for now. There's Russ Haas. That'd be a good one. Salvatore Belomo. Classic. Samantha. Classic. Oh, my God. Kojima? No, but wow. Scott Putsky. Ooh, Sean Morley. No, thank you, but... But interesting. Shane Helms. That could be a good one. Shane Soul, you're doing great work in NXT. You're doing great work in NXT. I think I'll pass on you for now, though. Shane Shamrock, who are you? Our guy Killings. Fuck yeah. Shannon Moore. I mean, I could, I could put three count together. That's all I'm saying. Shark Boy is always fun. Stasiak, uh, I'll pass on, I think. Oh, God, Funaki. Oh, I love you, Funaki. I love you. How's Taka? Taka's probably too popular. Oh, pro Taka's probably with WWF right now. I don't know. I probably won't sign you, but I want to at least shortlist you. There's Simon Diamond. Mm. Looks like Wagner Brown is only 18 here. These stats are crazy! <laughs> Taco's in WWE in 98. Yeah, yeah, he was light heavyweight champion. Oh my god! What? They got him? They got Fantasio? Oh, I gotta get him. That's terrible. That's great, actually. They have Spider? Oh my god, no. I've looked through so many databases trying to find Spider. Holy shit, I can't believe he's actually in one. Homicide was 19, 17 at this time? Was he? Homicide? Stacy Carter. <laughs> Ooh, Carino. Ooh, Carino. Steve Dahl. That's a fun one. Regal. Not that Regal. <laughs> Other Regal. But still, Regal. Um, what's what's your name? I ah, Steve Rizona. But you're you're you, you have another name, I swear. Suicide Kid, I'll shortlist you. Super Bowl 51? Who the hell are you? I'm signing you. I'm signing Super Bowl. Hold on. I'm also sp signing Spider. Hold on. 
I have to sign Spider. I, I'm, I'm just happy to have him. Super crazy? Ooh. Super dragon? Ooh. <laughs> There's some good ones. Tark the Great would be a good one. I'll shortlist him. American Kickboxer, I'll shortlist. Who are you, the cat burglar? I need you. I need this guy. <laughs> he seems awesome. The cat burglar? I don't even know him. The magic man? I'll shortlist the magic man. I don't know who he is. Who are you? Persian Prince? Tiger Jeet Singh? Oh, you're, um, you're, um, Damien Steele. I'll shortlist you, Damien Steele. That's our Repo Man version. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I, I love a good Repo Man gimmick. TJ! Ooh, you'd be good. You'd be good. See, the, this is why I'm just shortlisting them, because there's so many people I want. Oh, there's so many good people and terrible people, which, which also are fun. Oh, Trent Acid. Ooh, and Trailer Park Trash. Ooh. No tag teams right now. Okay, okay. Truth Martini. Very young. Very talented. Rip. Yeah, Rip. Yeah. Tugboat Taylor. 52 at the time. Nice, nice. <laughs> uh, you look awesome. <laughs> Tyson Ducks. Classic. I'm, I'm not going to assign him, but, you know, Tyson Ducks. Always an option. Vic Grimes. I won't sign him. I promise. I'm I'm not gonna have a whole XPWS roster. Johnny Cashmere feeling for Backseat Boys. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Vic Vic Steamboat. I met Tyson. That's very cool. Mm, Vinny Massaro. Again, I could just do the XPW roster. Vito Lagrasso. Oh, Wesna Busick. She's fourteen. Oh my god. Wife beater. <laughs> I mean, I gotta shortlist him. I gotta at least shortlist him. Who are you? Who are you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who you are. I like what's going on, though. Tajiri, I mean, Tajiri's great, of course. Alright, that's a huge freaking shortlist. I want now... Let's get, um, some color. How is the color going? Like, um, I, c I can go a little more famous with my color if needed. Mm. There's some options. There's some options. Mike Dell. <laughs> this guy's doing color. So strange looking at some of our current day wrestlers in their teens to 20s. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. Shane McMahon. Good for him. <laughs> Russo, of course. Vic Venom. Nice, nice. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try somebody who's active as a color commentator. Oh, Callus, he's busy. He's busy. Dutch, I mean, I could, I could always get Dutch. Dutch is just so easy to always take. He's so good. Ed. <laughs> oh, Ed Ferrara. Ooh. I mean, that'd just be fun. Oh, and Mike Roch, of course. Duh. I mean, come on, Mike Roch, yeah. I, Ed, you can go on the short list, though. You can totally go on the short list. Now, let's see some road agents, again, not very popular, who have, like, great psychology and experience. Holy fuck, Don Owen is 85 at this time. Wow. Mm. 
Bob Armstrong, Jackie Fargo, James Beard. Let's grab James Beard. And, um, you're going to bring in Keith Hart to Road Agent? Yeah, I was considering that. You're right, you're right. I was also thinking Nelson Royal to Road Agent. So I'll, 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 I'll stick with that one. Okay. Yeah, I was I was thinking Keith Hart. Screw it. I'm um I know I, I only start with twenty five hundred dollars, but I'm gonna be lenient on that. I'm gonna give myself if money if needed. I'm not a huge into the money management aspect of this game. I'm not going to be crazy and spawn in a ton of money, but I'm not, I'm just going to like make sure I stay afloat, basically. Um, I'm not, I'm not that worried about the money. Okay, now I have a huge short list. Is there, um, is there like a bigger short list option other than the quick short list? Or do I just have to go here and then like click who's on my short list? Hold on. Yeah, short shortlisted. Yes, I mean this works. In TW twenty sixteen or twenty ten or whatever one it was twenty, I don't remember. There's a shortlist button. Now, I mean, I want Andrew Martin. I do, so I'm going to sign him. And we can take him off the short list. Um, I want, I want him. I want, <laughs> I want some some redemption stories. You know, like how fun would it be to have a guy like him, and then he becomes like a star? I think that'd be awesome. Rolling hard. I want him as well. I want these guys that I don't know. Because I think that would be cool. I do like Reckless Youth. I do. PJ. And for the for this... Oh. Okay. Nicole Bass is unavailable right now. Okay. But she's employed by ECW. What are you talking about unavailable? She's available. She's right there. I'm already getting Mike Roch and Nelson Royal. Mentalo. Who the hell? You're Canadian. Let's sign this guy because I don't know who he is. And again, I, I want to make new stars. I, I, I do want to sign the Hardys. Either way, I'm signing the Hardys. They're just too good. I want Dr. Luther. Personal issues for 52 days for Nicole Bass. Okay, okay. I do think having Nicole Bass would be fun. <laughs> having Duke the Dumpster Drozzy would also be fun. And this guy's called Jack Black, so I have to sign him. I mean, it's just, those are the rules. I I don't make the rules, I just follow them. I want Edward Fatou, for sure. And I also want Matt Anawai. I'm thinking Russ and Charlie would be good. Let's get Russ and Charlie as well.
Yeah, very nice, very nice. Right, okay, okay. I'm going to refresh that so that the people I'm signing are off. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, okay, I have a room. I have a room. I'm gonna take Spider off the list. I'm already signing him. I want I want three count. Give me Shane Helms, Shannon Moore. And Evan Courageous. Oh wait, Evan Courageous isn't on my short list. Hold on. Is he busy right now or something? Oh, yeah, he's with WCW. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, intent, okay, okay. Let's go back to that. I'm okay with having two of three count, two count, as we call them in the industry. Air Paris, Air Paris would be good. Daniels is so good. He's in WWF right now. Holy shit. Maybe I'll pass on him then. For now. For now. I, I think Snitsky. I want Snitsky. Again, I want like kind of the rejects for now. Christian York three count replacement. I I don't hate it. Screw it. Let's let's go for that. Yeah. Give me um James Storm and Robert Rude. Oh, I want them all. I don't really have... Do I have any women? Hold on. I guess it doesn't matter if I'm integrating them, but I would like to have at least one. Rebecca Lynn, Nora Greenwald, Chris Harris. Yeah, I, I know Chris Harris. Okay, I'll sign Chris Harris. You win. You win this round. Give me Air Paris. Give me Air Paris. I've, I've decided I do want Air Paris. It's been so long since I've used him. Dirt Bike Kid. I want Dirt Bike Kid. Dirt Bike Kid. Fuck it. I'm just gonna make a few more. Uh, give me Duke Drozzy. Your money's most wanted. Yeah, it does sound awesome. It does sound awesome. <sighs> Give me the Guerreros. Hector and Mando. I, I'm cluttering my roster a little, but I... I, I it's fine. I've signed Dirt Bike a few times. That's cool. I don't think I ever have. I'll, I'll wait on Kid Cash. I'll wait on him. I'll wait on Kenji, Johnny Webb, Joy Legend. I don't think I ever have signed her. Yeah, no, I, I have. I have. Just not a ton. Uh, gimme, gimme Nunzio. I'm not gonna take Matt Bloom. Prince Nana. Ugh. I'll pass on Rhino for now. Super crazy is so tempting, but I'll pass on him for now. Oh, TJ! Oh! No, I'll pass on you for now. I'll pass on you for now. Trent Acid. 
Okay, I need Trent Acid. I know, I'm signing too many people, I know. Give me Reckless Youth. I mean, it's fine, I can sign too many people. I don't mind just using some people in some shows and some on others. Uh, I think Trailer Park Trash. Give me Trailer Park Trash. Give me Wife Beater. As you can see, I, I've, I've come up with a stable. <laughs> Um, not mistake, I made Dirt Bike Kid and Suicide Kid a team before. That sounds like a pretty good team. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Homeless Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. Yeah. And... Then bring me to the women. Kimona's not a wrestler. Lexi. Lisa Moretti. I think Lisa Moretti is going to be the one. Ooh, Jazz. Ooh. Give me Lisa Moretti. Give me Wesna Busick. And give me Jazz. I just, I want to, I want a few women. Okay. It's a lot of people for such a small roster, but you know, you don't put everyone on every show. You have a little bit of a rotating roster. See what happens. And I have announcers. I have a lot of refs. I have a lot of rotations. I have managers. What is a ringside worker? What are you talking about? That just means like no, no, nothing. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. Stevie Richards. Ooh. Let's, let's, uh, let's sim. Let's sim and see what happens. See if anybody turns me down. See if anybody gets signed to a major company. Just see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's handshake deals, so don't really matter, because don't pay them unless you use them. Very true. Very true. There's just, there's so many people, I see them, and I'm like, oh my god, I want them. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use a lot of people I haven't used before. Uh, mixed with some old favorites, of course. Um, so, th so there's, there's a bunch of people I've signed that I just like, hey, who's this person? I don't know. They sound awesome. Let's get them. So I think that's fun. Nation of Domination loses member. The rock has been removed from the Nation of Domination. Mark Henry has been removed from the Nation of Domination. The giant is turning. What's going on on Raw? Oh my god, that match sounds awesome. Michaels versus Austin in a cage match? 98? Hello, you were like a kid in the candy store there. <laughs> very true, very true. Hello, Scratchy. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we got some rival bids. I'm not gonna, like, fight with anybody. They can sign wherever they want. Oh, Funaki. Funaki wants to go to New Japan. Very fair, by the way. I would too. Let's uh, let's let's go on. Let's let's sim again. I I hope a lot of success comes to Funaki and Taka in this in this game. I resisted the urge to sign all of Kai and Tai, but I I mean part of me still wants to sign like the lesser Kai and Tai members. And uh, throw them with Kimona. Because that'd be fun. We'll see. We'll see. Because I, I, I do love them. I do love them all. <laughs> Just one of my favorite teams ever. Gene Kaniski retiring. Very fair. Uh, Vincent has been removed from the NWA, probably for the best. Kevin Nash is going to be the new leader of the NWO. Okay. 
Keith Hart joins BCW. Good for him. Uh, we've got a lot of roster now. Let's sign them. Very nice. Very nice. Dutch Mantel catchphrase. Lexi Fife got an offer. Good for her. Yeah. Got a lot of ideas for these people. Got a lot of ideas. I only get Chavo for a few months, so I gotta I gotta shoot my shot with him quick. He's an important one. He's the only one I need. Why are you guys taking so long? Well, like, why is Spider like holding out on me? I got Chavo, right? Okay, I did get Chavo. That's good. That's all I need for now. That's all I need. I mean, you could have gotten Val Venus and reenacted the Kind Tai Val. No, 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 no. <laughs> not a fan of that one. As much as Kind Tai is like my favorite team ever, um, I'm not here for Choppy Choppy, your PP. Pee -pee. I'm not a Val Venus fan. I mean, I think Sean Morley's, you know, he's solid, but I don't like the character. Not it's not for me, basically. Not my thing. And these signings. Andrew Martin holding out on me? What's what's up with you? You don't have any other offers or anything? What's going on? Do you have your titles and events set up? No, I have nothing set up. Everything will be decided on the fly. What's going on here? A lot of booking positions available now. A lot happened there. Uh, let's let's sim again for for Andrew Martin to take forever to you know get get on board. Of all the people, he's the slowest? Like, come on. What has he got to do in 98? In, in January 98, I should say. Because I'm, I'm aware he's got stuff to do in 98. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm I'm going to do events uh based on you know mountain goat stuff cuz I'm doing a mountain goat themed company. I'm I'm uh I'm going to use their stuff for inspiration for the whole game really. All right. So we have our roster. You know, it, it's 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 a good amount. It's a good amount for uh, for such a small company. Air Paris set to debut an armed forces gimmick. Interesting. A gimmicky cartoonish gimmick. I realize I haven't really been using this at all recently. Like a <laughs> a unique creative. Armed Forces gimmick, right, right, right. Uh, hired Gun gimmick, I do like it, I do like it, Rudo, yeah. What you got going on? Badass, dominant swagger, right, right. I don't remember him ever having an Armed Forces gimmick. Me neither, that's why I thought that was very interesting, but I'm, I like it. <laughs> I gotta look back after, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't need a gimmick. You're a ref. Legitimate athlete gimmick. That's good. That's good. I assume. Yep, it's legitimate. Perfect. Chavo, your gimmick is just going to be um, legend. And it is a... I guess it's a swagger gimmick. 
and I want you to be a wrestler, and could you road agent? I guess you could, but that's not what you're here for. You're here to wrestle for now. Chris Harris. Of course, Brayden Walker. <laughs> uh, set to debut a badass gimmick. That's fine. I guess that's fine, yeah. Christian York. Plays swagger gimmicks particularly well. Um, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be, um, you're gonna have the boy band gimmick. Ooh, I wrote boy bang. Hold on. <laughs> I wrote boy bang. Not a, not a good thing to type. And let's give that gimmick to, uh, Shane Helms. They're, they're gonna be dancing and singing. We like the Backstreet Boys in sync too. Britney Spears is kind of cute. <laughs> you know, you know. That's what we're doing. Dick Kroll. You know, pretty pretty old, but he's roughing. Dirtbike Kid. Um, you can be a Technico for now. I guess it doesn't really matter, but Daredevil. Yeah, I mean, I mean dirt dirt bike rider like i don't know what the word is uh he can't play the legitimate gimmick despite that being what i want to give him so let's just say it's a uh, it's a gimmicky gimmick vampire gimmick is he a vampire i don't know what he is he's luther Duke the Dumpster Drozy, the Garbage Man. Obviously, that's a gimmicky, cartoonish gimmick, and it's very creative and unique. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess he could... No, I want him to be a Technico. Fuck it. Edward Fatu, we're changing your name to ECMO. Because that's who you are to me. 100% Aruto. Interesting. Dominant badass or offbeat unstable. Okay. Um, yeah. And you're with Matt and Hawaii, of course, who I know as Kimo. And you are going to be a Aruto. You're set to debut a gangsta gimmick. Dominant badass. Okay, yeah, let, let's let's um let's give you both the gangsta gimmick for lack of a better gimmick. He's just Luther, yeah, exactly. That's the Luther gimmick. You can't play legitimate Gimmicky cartoonish football player. I'm doing a lot of gimmicky cartoonish. I don't care. That's the vibe right now. That's the vibe. You're getting a legend gimmick. Everyone gets a legend gimmick. Um, I guess just standard then. And then. How's your road agenting? Okay, you, you, yeah. Actually, let me, let me just real quick check who my road agents are. Okay, I have enough road agents that I don't need the Guerrero's road agenting. You're obviously not going to be road agenting. In all fairness, Snitsky do look like he's wearing a football jersey in his picture. I know, right? Uh, it, isn't he a football player? Isn't he just, like, actually a football player? Uh, you don't need to be... I can, I can have you wrestle for now, just for fun. And, uh, you will just be a road agent. That's good. 
Let me check my refs. No, not Nunzio. No, no, no. I'm not sure. I've not really looked into his background. I'm pretty sure he is. And let's just see who's listed as color. Yeah, I don't want Nelson to color. I want him to road agent. Who are my announcers? That's perfect. On screen personality. No, I'm good on that one. No thanks. My managers. Uh, I don't really want either of you to be managers. We don't need managers for now. Let's go. Who are my occasional wrestlers? Keith Hart. That's fine. He can be an occasional wrestler. And uh, that's pretty much everyone. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Homeless Jimmy. Uh, kind of a heel, really. He played college football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds right. This is perfect. Give me a key card. Actually, no. I'm going to have it be uh, offbeat unstable. He's, he's, he's going to be less gimmicky cartoonish, but still kind of, and more unstable. Jack Black has the redneck gimmick. Interesting. Uh, let's have him... Uh, yeah, he can be... I don't know. Just a standard freaking redneck? Whatever. I No, no, hold on. I'm going to give him the... Um, the the rock the rock star gimmick and he's just gonna be Jack Black the uh, actor the singer and he's just gonna play him <laughs> that's the gimmick James Beard road agent great James Maritato I'm changing your name uh... wait Tony Broadway what the fuck? When were you Tony Broadway? With a mask? Interesting. I I like the name Nunzio, but I guess you'd be Little Guido. Yeah. You know what? Tony Broadway sounds fun, though. And you get a mask with that? Like... I'm giving you a mask. Let's you're you're gonna be a luchador, Tony Broadway. He's better as a Rudo. And um his gimmick is going to be Italian. Which is a swagger gimmick. I'm okay with that. James Storm Cowboy gimmick? I mean, yeah, fair enough, yeah. He is James Storm, to be fair. Um, I mean, I guess it's a... Or no, it would be, it would be a badass gimmick, I would say. Jazz does not have a gimmick. Come on, Jazz. Give me something to work with. Get some inspiration. Hmm. Um, what's going on with you, Jazz? You can't play any gimmicks that are good? Oh. She's given me nothing. I could make her a leprechaun. Jazz can't play swagger? That's news to me. I know, right? Like, what's with that? I don't know what's with that. Hmm. Interesting. French maid. No, I'm good on that. Female pimp. <laughs> huh. I mean, I guess... I guess this makes the most sense for now. Oh. But, um... I could always change that. And just have that be like a... 
standard gimmick because she can't play any gimmicks. Jeff Hardy! Daredevil Technico. I would not call that legitimate. I would call that more of a swagger gimmick. Um, heel ref John Cone. Sure, why not? Old school face. Ah, I don't care. That's fine. Chemo. Lisa Moretti. Uh, you... You just ivory. What... What were you in Glow? I don't even remember. Were you just Lisa Moretti? I, I swear you weren't. You can't play anything either? Great. <laughs> Mando Guerrero! Legend gimmick, of course. Um, I guess you can't play any gimmicks. Nobody can play any gimmicks. Matt Hardy. I will give you that as a swagger gimmick. Mauro Ranallo. Mentalo doesn't have a gimmick. Who are you, Mentalo? Hold on. I gotta Google Mentalo. Because this guy is interesting. Hmm. Tina Ferrari, thank you. That is exactly what it was. Thank you. I love that. Hmm. Mentalo has the Capcom logo on his Boots and Resident Evil written on his gear, on his, like, trunks in this picture. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is this guy's deal? What the heck? Was trained by Harley Race in Kenta Kobashi? Trained Kenny Omega, huh? Excuse me? That's quite the combination of trainers, yeah. Winnipeg's Mentalo. I mean, seeing all the video game stuff on his gear makes me just want to give him... Uh, makes me want to, to make his gimmick that he's a gamer. So that's his gimmick, is he's the gamer... And uh, it's a very realistic gimmick because he's a gamer. And he can. Mm, I'm going to give him our own mask. Mike Roch, uh, amazing. Perfect. Nelson Royal, perfect. Perfect. Reckless Youth. Can't play dominant comedy, swagger, badass, legitimate, Weasley underdog, or offbeat, unstable. What? Are you crazy? What are you talking about? Huh? What can you play? You can play gimmicky, cartoonish, mysterious, occult, or realistic. What the fuck? That is not true. That is not true. What the heck? Your gimmick is that you are a reckless youth. It's a new gimmick I've just invented. I hope you like it. 
You are a road agent. You are... I'm seriously thinking mod makers forgot to sort gimmick out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Some of them make sense, but some of them do not at all. Um... Robert Rude? Badass? Badass gimmick? Just, just, like, why not? Uh, you're, you're gonna be Bobby Rude? You're not gonna be Robert? You're going to be Bobby? Rod Zapata? Ref? Rollin' Hard! What a cool name! I hate it. I love it. Your gimmick is that you are a... Uh, a, 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 a... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, shit. I've just had the greatest idea. You're, you're a cyclist? Like a motorcycler? Motorcycle man? Motorcycle man? That's how I'm calling that. That's the smartest idea ever. And you can team with Dirt Bike Kid. Because <laughs> that's fun. You're a technico. I don't care. Ron Bass works. Rudo bully gimmick. That makes sense. Biker, you mean? That's the word. Thank you. <laughs> I called him motorcycle man. <laughs> um, dominant swagger and badass. Yeah, this is a badass gimmick. Yeah, damn right. Ron Gillings works technico. Damn right he does. He's amazing at being technical. Um, he's amazing at being a Rudo too. Look it up. A uh, rapper gimmick? I I would not Oh, thank God he plays all the gimmicks well. I would not call this gimmicky cartoonish. I would call this swagger. But he will have a rapper gimmick. Uh, I, I, I do like you being Ron Killings. Ron the Truth Killings. Russ Haas. Legitimate athlete. Done. Shane Helms, boy band. Shane and Moore, boy band. Magician! My magician! Obviously gimmicky, cartoonish. Very creative and unique. Throw it up. Throw it up here, all the way in the corner. Fuck yeah. I'm keeping it as Motorcycle Man, by the way, because that's funny. Spider! Um. I don't know. I don't know. He can't play offbeat unstable. Uh, yeah. Fuck it, yeah. Super Bowl, by the way. Uh, football player, obviously. Gimmicky, cartoonish. Very creative and unique. A little bit creative and unique. The Cat Burglar, you're obviously a heel. Working the criminal gimmick. Very gimmicky, cartoonish, yes. I'm not, I'm, nobody's getting a full comedy gimmick. They're getting gimmicky, gimmicky cartoonish for now. Italian. Do you have any other names? You're just the cat burglar? That's fine. I like it. Uh, Trent Acid doesn't have a gimmick. And he can't play anything! <laughs> like, what? Can't play badass. You can play swagger. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, yes, that was the plan. Uh, Snitsky and Super Bowl. I, 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 I definitely want to do something with them. You are, you are a hundred percent on the money. Uh, I mean, you, you get the reckless youth gimmick with reckless youth because I have plans for you. <laughs> uh, West Nabusic, does it have a gimmick? She can have... She can't play underdog. She's 14! She's 14! Rookie gimmick. Rookie. She's a 14-year-old, damn it. She has to be an underdog. 
And your gimmick is going to be, um, like, a, like, just, like, a redneck gimmick. Um, that can be an off-stable redneck gimmick. Because I want to do a stable called Reckless Youth. Hold on. Let me let me check Reckless Youth's names real quick to see if I have any other good names for him. Silver Wings, what the heck? No, I'll I'll just keep him as Tom Carter. So this stable is going to be called Reckless Youth, and it's going to have Tom Carter as its leader. It's going to have Homeless Jimmy. It's going to have Wife Beater. It's going to have uh, Trent Acid. Uh, homeless Jimmy I already have. Keep in mind he was with Chikara. Everyone has multiple gimmicks. Yeah. Very true, very true. I totally forgot he was with Chakara until I, I just googled him just now. Mm. I swear I wanted somebody else in this. I could throw in Jack Black for fun. No, I don't want Jack Black in there. Hold on. I swear I had somebody else. Hold on. <laughs> uh, member, member, member. Because that sounds like a fun team. Spider could be there. Um... Uh, I'm thinking spider. Yeah, let's do spider. And then let's add a stable. Three count. With Evan Courageous. Nope. With Shannon Moore, Shane Helms, and... Christian York, like a very normal stable. Spider definitely looks like a motorcycle man. So true, so true. He d he definitely gives that vibe. I'm so happy he's in this mod, cause cause wow, he's 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 never in any mods. Um, <laughs> and you know what? I have to call that team. Of Dirt Bike Kid and um, um Dirt Bike Kid and Rolling Hard, the Motorcycle Men. And they're a unit right there. That's a unit. That's awesome. Uh, three count one. I like this naming scheme better. Add new team, three count two of Shane Helms and Christian York. And three count three of Shannon Moore and Christian York. Great. Let's add uh, America's Most Wanted. Beer money. <laughs> um, hold on. What did you call it before? I liked it. I liked it. You called it just, was it just beer money's most wanted? Yeah, you did. This is beer money's most wanted. Um, hold on. 
Bobby Roode, James Storm, Chris Harris. Bobby Roode, James Storm, Chris Harris. Bobby Roode, James Storm, Chris Harris. Beer, Money's Most Wanted. I like my stables. I do. And then, uh, wait, not, not Bobby Roode, James, James Storm, yeah, no, wait, hold on, James Storm, what, are, what, are, what am I talking about? Obviously Bobby Roode, right, this is what confused me, Bobby Roode and Chris Harris, unit, um, <laughs> beer wanted? Done. You'll just be beer money, not beer money, Inc. You're just beer money. And you're... The Island Boys. That's fine. Whatever. I don't have a better name for you. You're the Hardy Boys. And you're the Haas Brothers. That's awesome. So that's 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 a tag team division. Let's also add um, Gene Snitsky and Super Bowl. As a unit and um What's a good name for them? What's a good football related name? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't watch football. <laughs> hmm. Let's just call this team Touchdown. Why not? A mean machine? <laughs> what does that have to do with football? The mean machine? Is that Snitsky? Snitsky's the mean machine, damn right. This is Touchdown. Team, team Touchdown. I don't got anything better. I don't know. Fair enough. You know, fair enough. That's how I'm feeling, too. And, I mean, I, I could always do Ron Killings and Andrew Martin, the boys. Because, of course, they're part of my boys' stable. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Is there anyone else I would put in that? Here. Ron Bass, maybe? I could see put Ron Bass there. That's funny. Give me Gene Snitsky, and he'll be managed by Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, okay. A hundred percent a Technico. That doesn't really matter. Split is split is loose. I was thinking to get Colonel Red in. To manage Air Paris because apparently he's got a armed forces gimmick, which I think is funny, and I'm keeping it. And I like the idea of putting Corporal Robinson with him, and they can be like the armed forces, because I I think that's a funny idea. All right. Kimona could have been their cheerleader. Oh, shit. I just... I know that's like Kimona. I know that... I I want so much better for Kimona. But that would be fun. When's cheerleader Melissa debut?
99. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Yeah, I like Kimona enough that I want to give her a job. So let's do it. I, I do. I do like her. And announcers. That's got to be John Darnielle. Mara Ronaldo and Mike Roch, just the greatest announced team you've ever seen, right there, stacked. Um, let's uh, normally upgrade the merch a little bit, just normal. And oh my God, there's so much going on. I have no titles, so let's create some titles. Now, I gotta think about this one, because I could just call them the regular title names, or I could give them fun mountain goats names. Which sounds like the more fun option, since I'm going for a lot of fun in this one. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what even would work for that? I don't know. Hmm. Let me check on the Beat the Champ. What's in Beat? Th I could just call it the Beat the Champ title. <laughs> That's always a possibility. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, geez. Okay. Invader number one has a song, but that's fucked up. Because, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna... S I'll, I'll put you on my short list. That is a fucked up one, though. Um, who else has a song? Bull, Bull Ramos, are you there? Is he, like, dead? I, I don't know a lot about Bull Ramos. So I don't know what's 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 up with him. Hold on. But he does have a song. He's not dead yet. Okay. Okay. He has retired by now, but he's not dead. I would... <sighs> I have so much freaking databases on here. Do we got any with, um, Bull Ramos? No? Hmm. I guess not then. I would, I would like him though. We'll, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Uh, there's, there's Luna, there's Werewolf Gimmick, Fire Editorial, Heel Turn 2, Choked Out, Animal Mask, Foreign Object. Foreign Object is a great name for a, a hardcore title. War of the Mortals may have him. No, I checked that. I checked that. It didn't. Unless he's under some other name, which I doubt it. Hmm. Not a lot of these work as, as title names. Oh, what's on um, Bleed Out? Bleed Out, another great name, by the way. First Blood, that's a good one. Hostages. Interesting. Make you suffer. That's a classic. Oh, I love a good lizard suit. I love that song. Getting into knives has mm, some interesting stuff on it. In league with dragons. Anything good there? 
Not really, not really. Sasha Banks also has a song, but she doesn't come in till way later. I assume. But when Sasha Banks come, I would love to get comes. I would love to get Sasha Banks. She would be a great get. Oh, I could call I could call something the Tallahassee Championship, which doesn't make sense at all because the company is based in Indiana. Um, but I could call something the Tallahassee Championship. That could be like the mid-card title. I don't hate that. You got a good 10 years minimum before Sasha debuts. Yeah, that makes sense. That sounds right. <laughs> I, I want her, though. If, if, if there's somehow I'm playing this in 10 years, I want it. I want it. What's a good tag belt? There's like pink and blue. There's moon and sand. You know, something like that. Okay, I'm going to add, first of all, the um, the Tallahassee. Oh, God, how do you spell Tallahassee? Hold on, I'm going crazy. It's um, T-A-L-L-E-H-A-S-S-E-E. -E. That's the Tallahassee Championship Rum and Coke. That's not a, that's not a Mountain Goat song. Tallahassee. And then that's a secondary title. I like that. That's good. And um, should I just call it Beat the Champ? No, but I want one. I'm out of rum. Oh, that's that's a great that's that's a great answer then. Fair enough. Fair enough. Give me TMG Beat the Champ as the primary title. And then I want one more. I mean, they're all album names. They're all album names so far. So I could keep that up. <laughs> the Sweden Championship. They could go to Sweden for that one. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> or Ghana. I, Ghana's not even in this game, so that one doesn't even make sense. Um, Heretic Pride. Transcendental Youth. Heretic Pride sounds nice. Oh, I forgot about Dark in here. Oh. I forgot about Dark in here as a name. I, I, I didn't forget about the album, but I forgot of it as a name. Let's go with... This is the... Um, Heretic Pride Championship. Just because I think that's a nice name. And that will be the tag belt. And we'll just start with those for now. That'll be a floating tag belt. That's nice. I'll come up with images and stuff for everything later. I used AI to make this uh, nice company logo, and I think it looks very nice. I do. Uh, let's start with scheduling an event. How is my availability? Okay. Right. So, Monday week two, everyone's going to be here. So, that's when my event's going to be. Monday, week two, January. Oh, 
no, no, these are not useful for me. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to number you or anything. We're just going to have it. And, and this is, I mean, I have to call it this. The Legend of Chavo Guerrero. The first, the first show has to be The Legend of Chavo Guerrero. I don't have him for very long. I want one show showcasing him, and it's a special. I don't know how long it'll be. Uh, I'll set the starting length at two hours, but we'll see. We'll see. Intent is normal. Ticket pricing normal. I know you can set it to free for it to be, for to get fans faster. I'm not for that. Uh, not really, at least. I don't need banned celebrities or anything. Okay, that's great. Perfect. I think I also would like an event here, Monday week four, but we'll get there. We'll get there. And I am going to go... Oh, wow, that's in two days. Yeah, I'm going to sim to that, and then I'll be right back real quick while I sim. All right, I am back. We're still simming, like Ron Simmons. That is. Damn. It's taken a while to sim. I don't know if that's going to be the standard forever. Or if that's just going to be early on like this. I don't know. Um, whatever whatever the deal is, I'll deal with it. Processing a lot of hirings, a lot of early game stuff, which is, you know, fair. Corporal Robinson. That's great. Let's grab him. And he... <laughs> Of course, just like Air Paris is going to get the armed forces gimmick. A bit gimmicky cartoonish. And uh, I'm going to call their team the armed forces. Because sometimes you get a gimmick and you run with it. Corporal Robinson and Air Paris armed forces. And they're going to dress in camo and it's going to be awesome. They're a unit, of course, as you would expect from Air Paris and Corporal Robinson. Okay, other people are getting offers. That's good. Good for them. And uh, the show is tonight. Let me make sure everything's good. We have our broadcasters. Uh, let me check my availability to make sure nothing's changed. That's perfect. I have all the contracts settled. Everything is finally settled. Oh, backstage and drug policy. I haven't done those at all. Uh, where are those? Drug testing? I Okay, perfect. No drug testing. We're not at that level yet. Backstage? No smoking, no drugs. Um, I don't really want them to be drinking either. Um, and we don't really have the money to give them any of that. That's fine. We're good. Chavo Guerrero is a negative influence. No, Chavo! Training, ticket prices, merchandise, owner goals, production, production. 
everything's just fine, I guess, how it is. Signs, medical, everyone's fine, thankfully. Investments, Hall of Fame, house shows, finance, backstage, how companies, company info, developmental drug testing. Everything is sorted. Does this, yeah, I figured it's, it's not a storyline company. It's not a storyline product. We don't have any stuff here yet. We'll deal with that. Okay. It's time! It's time! The Illinois... No, I don't want it to be there. Hold on. I want it to be somewhere in Indiana. There are 81 fans expected. So let's search for... Max capacity 100 in Indiana. Let's go to the Bourbon Park Pavilion. Yeah, this is this is the venue. Hey, shout out to your local NXT pool. Chase Stevens was in Hidden Gems. Oh, fuck yeah. Chase Stevens, that's awesome. I, I, I love the, the cross-series tie-ins. I, I think it's very, very fun. Alright, so I need a high spots or steal the show in a technical master class. Interesting. Interesting. Who do I have on my roster that could even do that? Um, who has the best technical skills on my roster? Okay, apparently they have really good technical skills. The Hosses especially. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Robinson. Uh, Luther. Killings. Russ. Trent. Music. Interesting. Bobby Rude. Okay, okay. I would like someone who's in a tag team together to to have good stats. Let's go seventy five. <laughs> Tony Broadway, Dirt Bike Kid, uh, we got Homeless Jimmy, I could do Homeless Jimmy and, why does Homeless Jimmy have such high technical, that doesn't make sense, let's do Homeless Jimmy and Trent Acid, Against what was it? The Haas brothers. This is going to be a technical master class, of course. Um, highly technical bout. Good way of keeping a crowd engaged, but not overly rowdy. Requires at least 15 minutes of ring time. At least 15 minutes. So it's going to be a longer match. Um, we can do just 15 minutes, though, for this one, I think. For our first one, let's just kind of see how it goes. And I'm going to have Charlie Haas pin Homeless Jimmy for this one. And after the match, we're going to have Homeless Jimmy, Trent Acid, and who, who was in this group? It was like Spider and Tom Carter and Trent Acid, I'm pretty sure. 
Right, okay. And they're going to attack Charlie and Russ and sort of cement themselves as a group. So, re Reckless Youth attack Haas Brothers and establish selves as a group. And that can be like four minutes. I've selected the same worker twice. Trin Acid, right? That's fair. It was Trailer Park Trash I meant to select. And uh, that is who's in that, right? Oh! Okay. Trailer Park Trash is who I wanted in that, not Spider. Okay, hold on. That's right. Wife beater is in it. That's perfect. Good. Okay. Now. Hmm. Where's Chavo? Hold on. Where's Chavo? Unimportant? Are you crazy? He's the show. He's the show. Huh. That's interesting. I don't even know. I don't know who can wrestle at all in this company. So it's going to be interesting to choose. I guess it won't matter who's in the main event because the match is going to suck anyway. No matter who I pick. So I could choose anyone. I think Ron Bass might be the way to go, though. Because they're both, like, huge stars. I got no one in well-known, but I got people here. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I, th I think this is the way to do it. And Chavo is going to beat Ron Bass. How are your skills? Okay. Okay. Uh, both of you, you know, you're old as hell and your skills could be better. How long can you go? Okay, you can you can go a bit. Okay. Let's um read our product a little bit, actually. Let's read the product. What's going on with the product? Uh, Lucha de Apuesta, I assume that's how you say that, is a big deal and is taken very seriously. Fans will expect events to be 90% matches and 10% angles. Fans will expect TV shows to be 80% matches and 20% angles. Matches are rated ratio of 60-40 in ring popularity. Lucha style's easy. Fans will be upset by dangerous, controversial, or bloody match types. Matches less than 15 minutes will not be able to achieve world-class scores. Overbooked matches will annoy fans. Cinematic, eye candy, comedy, deathmatch, dangerous, all penalized. Risky does not go down well. Sex appeal sucks. Um, gimmicks are not necessary. Each show has to have high spots or steal the show and a technical masterclass. Hardcore skill is not a thing. Tendence level are strongly affected by the state of the industry. Crazy bumps or stunt bumps give boosts to segments. Most comedy-based gimmicks cannot be used by stars or major stars. Having a wrestler be forced to unmask is a big deal. Having someone shaved bald adds heat. Okay. Ah, uh, that's that's all great. Yeah, I'm 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 totally fine with that. Let's see if these guys could go 15, since my crowd seems to like longer matches. No. Okay. Then we'll give them just like a 12 minute match. And I don't really have a lot of faith in them to like carry the show or anything. So it can just be a regular match where um, it's open and Chavo wins it. And I'm going to add an angle and it's going to be at the start of the show. John Darnielle, uh, he's going to announce the show and just kind of say thanks for coming to the first ever show for total mat gladiators 
I have themed this show around my favorite wrestler, Chavo Guerrero, and he is going to be in the main event taking on another legend, Ron Bass. And uh, John's out there with Chavo. And then Ron Bass comes out, and Ron Bass is like, you know, he, he just talks shit, basically. He talks shit on Chavo, and Chavo talks shit back, and it kind of establishes Ron Bass as a heel. Um, Chavo and Homeless Jimmy are being used too much. No, they're not. They're being used fine. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Let's do a tag match because the Hardys seem to be amazing. Uh, they're, they're the most popular people on my roster. They can go against. Let's exclude already booked. Let's just. Uh, let's put them against. No, let's put them against the motor motorcycle men. Fuck it motorcycle men and then actually hold on hold on I've changed my mind again I need a high spots or steal the show match so let's kind of let's explore high spots and steal the show steal the show is best match possible um all out it's always all out best match possible I assume it doesn't go for very long, right? All out. Yeah. And then high spots match, which I, I don't usually use a high spots match type. I'll use a steal the show, but I don't usually, usually use a high spots. Have a bout full of flashy aerial spots. This can exciting, but generally needs a crowd to have been warmed up properly. They struggle to go more than 15 minutes. Does it say these struggle to go more than 15? No? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Okay. And let's see who's good at high spots on the roster. Let's see who's good at aerial. Air Paris, which obviously, Christian York, Dirtbike Kid, Jeff Hardy, Shannon Moore, Tom Carter, Trent Acid. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do Christian York and Shannon Moore against the Hardys. And let's do a high spots match. You know, it can go like 10 minute, 10 minute high spots match. And Jeff Hardy will win that by pinning uh, Shannon Moore. And at ringside will be Shane Helms. That's great. That can go up there. Uh, give me a 3v3, please. You know, we got a lot of good stables, and I want to showcase that on the show. I want to do Chris Harris, James Storm, and Bobby Roode, because that would be cool. Against... Oh, wait. I just put three count in that match. Okay. But I could always put somebody else here... Let's throw Spider in this, because we, you said he kind of looks like a motorcycle man, and you're totally right. He does look like a motorcycle man, so I think uh, Spider could totally team with these guys. And um, I'll, I'll kind of add that as a stable motorcycle man, now that I remembered Spider is not who I wanted for that stable. I knew Spider wasn't who I wanted, but I couldn't freaking remember who the other person was. It was Trailer Park Trash. Motorcycle Man is Dirt Bike Kid, Spider, and Rollin' Hard. I like it. And uh, this can go like 12 minutes. And the winner... Um... 
Let's see how popular these people are, actually. Hold on. These people don't seem to be very popular. <laughs> Chris Harris is up here. Okay, let's give Chris Harris the win then. Chris Harris can pin Dirt Bike Kid. That'll just be a regular match. And then let's get some singles on the card. Hold on. Actually, I want to add some masks to people. So, Dirt Bike Kid famously uh, took off his mask. He's wearing a mask here. I don't give a shit. He, he wears a mask now. I want, I want to create some masked wrestlers. And then... Snitsky. Well, because the thing is... Okay, Tony Broadway wears a mask. I already got that. That's good. Life Peter, Tom Carter, Cat Burglar, you wear a mask. It's this mask on your picture. <laughs> Super Bowl wears a cell phone mask. Perfect. Spider, Spellbinder, you're going to wear a mask that kind of looks like your face paint. Shannon Moore, Shane Helms, Russ Haas, Ron Killings, Ron Bass, Roland Hard. Rod Zapata, Rick Bass, Bassman, Nelson Royal, Mike Roch, Mentalo, you do wear a mask, perfect. Okay, Mando, Lisa, Chemo, Keith, John, John, Jeff, Jazz, James, James, Jack Black, Homeless Jimmy, Hector Guerrero, Gene Snitsky. I'm not going to have you wear a mask. Yeah, I've decided you're not going to wear a mask for now. Let's give Luther a mask. I think that would be fun. Let's give Luther a mask. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then... What would a fun match be? Let's see who's who's our stars. Um, right, I want... I guess Jazz is the one with the Equality Fighter gimmick. So let's do Jazz versus... Oh my god. Do I dare? <laughs> no, not for now. We'll do that later. I, I do like that, though. Let's do Jazz versus... What a roster. What a freaking roster. Thought we were going to give Lisa the Tina Ferrari gimmick. I could. I like it. I was just um, wondering what the name was, but I definitely could. I don't know how that works. Does like glow obviously doesn't exist anymore in this time, but um like is she is she allowed to use that that gimmick other places? I don't know. Probably, I guess. I don't know if she'd ever want to, but I like the name. So yeah, let's let's give her the Tina Ferrari gimmick, yeah. And uh let's change this to Ferrari, of course. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know how that works, but fuck it. We'll give it to her. <laughs> but I, I do want, I want Jazz in a match. And actually, I, I guess I'll have it with somebody lower. Well, let's do it with Andrew Martin. I like that. And uh, let's have it. Let's see. How are, you, how are your stats? How are your stats? Let's have a wild brawl. And Andrew Martin's going to win this. But it's going to be open. 
And before that match, I'm going to give Jazz a promo. And Jazz is going to promo, cut a promo, and she's going to be like, I think women deserve to be treated as well as men in this business. And despite this being a company for men, I am going to step up to the plate and fight the men. And Andrew Martin comes out and he's like, I was scheduled this match against a woman. I know it's embarrassing. I know. But I'm going to whoop her ass. I'm the Punisher, Andrew Martin. And Jazz is like, bring it on. Kind of like um, in Lucha Underground when Ivelisse took on Son of Havoc. I love that match. I love that story. Uh, we're we're kind of just doing that. This doesn't have to be long. This can just be like three minutes. And that happens before that match. This is opening the show. Uh, beer money versus... Yeah, this, this can go here. That's good. Okay. No. Sp <laughs> Spellbinder. Duke the Dumpster Drozzy. Oh, I got such a weird roster. I got such a weird roster. Right, I want a match with the Guerreros. Hector and Mando. Let's add a team of Hector and Mando. Los Guerreros. Perfect. And they will go up against the Island Boys. And they are going to win. Uh, just just regular regular match. Decisive pinfall. And that can go about 11 minutes. That can go right here. I, I want that right before the main. Let's let's put Jazz Andrew Martin right here. And uh, at the end of the show, Chavo celebrates with Mando and Hector. Just just big big moment for Chavo at the end of the show. They're not winning all the titles or anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing any titles yet. But that's how the show is going to end. Um, let's have Super Bowl against Mentallo. This can be like a seven minute match just to fill the card and uh, put Super Bowl over. Snitsky's not going to be there though. And this can go just wherever. Uh, let's put that, I don't know, here. I want this, hold on. Actually, let's let's put that right before the main, just to cool the crowd down. I do want this match to work the crowd, get them engaged. And after that, yeah, we can we can do some good stuff. Then Ron Killings has to work a match. That's just a requirement. Ron Killings' first match could be against, I guess, Jack Black is what makes sense for that. And this will be about an eight-minute match, and Ron Killings wins. Oh, wow. Jack Black cannot work. He has no stamina. Wow. 
Okay, so that's a very short match. Um, that can go here. That's good. That's all good. And about one more match to round it out. About a two-hour show. We could do a Keith Hart match. Hmm. Keith Hart against Tony Broadway. And have uh, Tony Broadway win it. I like that. Let's do that. That can go like 11, 11 minutes or so. And that can go right here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's the show. So no titles yet. We're not using titles yet. Uh, just kind of establishing the roster. Let's check how the gimmicks are doing. Okay, okay. Chavo could not really talk for that long. That's okay. Chavo's gimmick is poor. Poor guy. Great wrestling, but not much heat. Wow. Okay, good for them. That's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Dirt Bike Kid was off his game. Real Hard was off his game. The crowd were already hot and didn't need working. This is the first match. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is the first match. Extremely marketable Chris Harris. Extremely marketable James Storm. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, okay. Ron Killings versus Jack Black. Ron Killings beats him easily. Jack Black probably won't last very long in this company. The Haas brothers defeated Homeless Jimmy and Trent Acid. That's good. The, a technical match isn't the right thing to be feeding a rowdy crowd. Interesting. Interesting. I'll, um, I'll take note of that, I guess. I could always change the matches on the fly to see how the crowd's doing. We'll, uh, we'll see that in the future. We'll, 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 we'll deal with that. A few debuts there. Tony Broadway defeated Keith Hart. Definitely the right decision. Keith Hart can't really go. He'll probably just be road agenting, really. The Hardy Boys defeated Three Count when Jeff Hardy pinned Shannon Moore with a twist of hate. Twist of hate. This match was pretty freaking good. I mean, the Hardys killed it. Good for them. Let me see who my best refs and road agents are. Hold on. I don't know if I'll be able to tell who my best ref is. Like, you are 82 to 90. You're 55 to 100. 83 to 96. 55 to 100. Let's do Dick Kroll. And, um, let's see who my road agents are. Let's give it to Nelson Royal. Dick Kroll and Nelson Royal. Alright, so the Jazz Andrew Martin segment happens. And then Andrew Martin defeats Jazz with a diving elbow drop. They both didn't do great. Los Guerreros defeat the Island Boys. Oh my god, Hector and Mando have absolutely zero chemistry as partners, really? And they sucked as well. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. 
Super Bowl defeated Mentalo. Super Bowl sucks. And his gimmick was awful. And they didn't click. Okay. Okay. It happens. Chavo Guerrero defeated Ron Bass in the main event for a 20 rating. Oh, no. It's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I get it. They're like 48. But this is the main event. And we will, we will of course, adjust accordingly. The... Um, yeah. Really? Penalized for stamina? You said you could go 15. Alright. Well, it increased our popularity anyway. So, obviously, mm -hmm. Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy... Are going to be praised for a great performance. And, um, Chavo Guerrero is given a hug because I'm John Darnielle and I would want to hug uh, Chavo Guerrero if I was John Darnielle. Personally. That's just me, though. Or, or John. Hey, there's Super Bowl. He's on my screen. All right. Lots going on. Lots going on. D Generation X disbanded. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Colonel Red and Kimona have joined the roster. Um, so Corporal Robinson, you're going to get Colonel Red as your manager, and so is Air Paris. And uh, Colonel Red, of course you work Rudo, but you're not working Rudo here, you're working Technico here. And, um, Southern Gentleman. Yeah, let's have you be a Southern Gentleman. That's awesome. And Kimona. Leia Meow. You're just going to be Kimona. I don't like you being Kimona Wanalea. Because, um, obviously. And then you're going to be a Technico. And your gimmick will be that you are a cheerleader. Oops. Which will be a swagger gimmick. And, um... You're just a personality. Could, could you please become a manager, please? What's Colonel Red listed as? Manager? Okay, good. So, Kimona, you are going to manage Super Bowl... And Jean Snitsky. Perfect. Great. All right. That's all solid. Now, you see, we're in, we're in debt already. So let me go to... Um... Where are we? We're total freaking Mac Gladiators. Give me just a solid 10,000. And uh, we'll, we'll adjust if needed. Again, I don't want to give myself money. I just kind of want to keep myself out of the red. I'm not going to spend money unless we genuinely make that money. On like things like investments and stuff. But I don't mind paying a premium for my roster for whatever reasons I would like. Now, add new event. Let me actually... I want this event to be Monday week 4.
that's when we are going to hold our second event. And um, let me think of a name real quick. Um, I, I have a few ideas that I don't want to do until later. Let's do, this is going to be called First Few Desperate Hours. And this will be a special and it will happen Monday week four of January. No post fix or anything for now. That's the event. Perfect. How's things here? Monday, great. Okay, looks like looks like Mondays are going to be a good day to do a show. Mm. Chavo's contract will expire then. That's fine. How is Chavo? You're just you're just here, right? You're not in any other companies or anything. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Let's um let's sim to that real quick. That will take a while. It will not be real quick, but we're simming to it. <laughs> Actually, this would be a great opportunity for me to go get some more water, so I will do that, BRB. All right, I am back, and uh, let's let's stop the advance for a little bit. See what's going on. Holy shit! So much is going on still. I can see why it would take a long time. Christian York's dating someone. T.J. Wilson has a contract offer. Trent Acid. Okay, okay. Good for them. Good for them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's let's keep simming. I don't know how long until the events are gonna kind of cool down and they're gonna stop hiring everyone like crazy. 
next show the goal is basically just going to be to um, throw as many people as I can onto the show. Not not that wording exactly. Um, what I mean is I want everyone who didn't wrestle a match at the last show, I want them to wrestle a match at this show. That's what I mean. So I, I, I have a few ideas of what I want that to be. I also I have a nice idea for a main event. Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. We're not we're not televising our stuff anywhere because we're just starting, but I would like to think that we are at the very least recording it. And uh eventually we'll release the archive. <laughs> You know, throw it on a public access TV where nobody watches and, and, and keep an archive so that when the internet pops off, we like throw it all on YouTube or something or, or get our own streaming service. Don't worry, none of this is getting lost to time. Everyone gets to see that terrible Chavo Guerrero uh, match with Ron Bass. Because they're both 48 years old, like 48, 49. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun to hire Rotten Bass. Chavo Guerrero was necessary. I'm glad I did the Chavo Guerrero thing immediately and didn't use that later because I mean he can't he can't put on a match at this age, so you know, that that could have really brought down an event if it was way later. But it's 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 fine. It's fine for ninety eight. No issues with 98. Alright, let's 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 stop it again early. See what's going on. They've calmed down a bit. They have calmed down a bit. There's still a lot going on, but they've, they've calmed down a bit. Rhino's getting offers. It's good. Okay. Good for them. Is anything messing with my scheduling? No, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, then let's let's keep going with that. There are definitely a few people on my roster that after that first show I do want to fire. Maybe it would be best to, instead of firing them, I just sign, like, a... Like, like let them off easy. Sign, like, a month-long, a three-month contract or a one-month contract and say, like, Hey, I'm, um, I'm getting rid of you, but you, 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 you're getting a month. Oh my god, Luthez dies! No! Poor guy. Aw. Okay. So first of all, who is that guy who is just terrible? I have to remember who was the one who was just terrible. I know Super Bowl was terrible, but I don't want to fire him. I want to keep him. I know Ron Bass and Chavo. Jack Black, thank you. That is exactly who I was thinking of. Jack Black, I sign you just for your name. Let's sign you to one month. And, uh, you know, you can gracefully make your exit from the company. I think that's a nice way to do it. I, I, I don't see why anyone would be upset uh, by, by doing that. If you agree to sign that new contract, you, you put in your last month with the company... Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. Thank you for your work, Jack Black, but I won't be needing your services any longer. <laughs> I'll, I'll job you out a little bit before you go. Don't worry, you'll get the work. You'll get the paychecks. I got you. He should be accepting his contract soon, I assume, and he'll be out by the end of February. 
Just a couple more shows for him. All right, there he is. I will complete that signing and he will be on his way out in a month. That's fantastic. And Chavo leaving in three months, just it works. It works just fine for what I want to do. All right, shows in like three days. Advance will not take that much longer. Definitely makes this harder to stream than the NXT save due to how long the advance takes. But um, that could be sorted. I mean, more frequent shows would help with that as well, which obviously could, could happen shortly. But right now, we're just starting. We're doing uh, two shows in the first month. I think that's fine for now. Oh my god, please. <laughs> there's there's Cornette. Good to see you, Jim. Charlie Manson and Spellbinder, so true, so true. Throw in, um, Kenji, white face paint boys, Rod Zapata hired by MAW, good for him, good for him, one of my NXT crossovers, that's loud, that's a loud truck, and it's time for the show, oh my god, what is going on? Big ass garbage truck. Probably taking the garbage out, I would assume. Ridiculous! How dare they! Shane Helms was brought before the wrestler's court, accused of making a mess backstage and not cleaning it up, annoying everyone else. The judge, Ron Bass, found him guilty and sentenced him to clean it up, then buy drinks for everyone after the show. That's cool. I like Ron Bass doing wrestler's court. Let's uh, try to make some friends, right? Right? Like, that's the goal. Obviously, with Ron Killings. Chad Patton. That's always an option. James Storm. Kimona. Interesting. Tina Ferrari. Okay. Okay. So let's do James Storm. See if they can be friends. Gotta do some meddling. This is going to be... I want a six-fan tag. And it's going to be the Hardys... Uh, actually, hold on, what, I gotta think, what the fuck was I thinking? No, this makes sense, this does make sense. Let's do the Hardys against Chavo, Mando, and Hector. And the Hardys can team with... I was thinking Ron Bass. Yeah, fuck it. Let's let's do Ron Bass. Let's do Hardys and Ron Bass against the Guerreros. 
Put a calm the crowd before your technical master class. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And let's do... Uh, let's do Matt Hardy pins Hector Guerrero and put over the Hardys. I'm not going to do a crazy match note because a lot of these people cannot go, but I'll do it like a 12 minute match. And I know it won't be very good, but the Hardys will carry it and we can phase these people out of the main event scene. Which is what I need. Now. These are the people I want on the show for sure. So let's do a match with. It's going to be Team Touchdown. Against. Um, I guess I want it to be the Armed Forces. That's who I want it to be. And I'm going to have Air Paris pin Gene Snitsky. Sort of makes Snitsky look like the, the young boy who uh, is, is under the tutelage of Super Bowl and is um, trying to get to his level. Maybe this should be a little shorter, though. Let's, um, who, who can do the technical stuff? Who can do the technical stuff? Uh... Wesna Busek? What the heck? Wasn't abusic versus Dr. Luther? This is my technical master class? Like, really? Fuck it. Dr. Luther wins this. This is a technical master class, obviously. And a decisive. It's not going to be open. Luther's going to kind of destroy her. It's going to be a technical master class, as we all know. What? You're 14! What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? Jesus Christ. No. Give me the cat burglar versus Duke Drozzy. And I'm going to have the cat burglar win by cheating. That's right. This is a match. Very important match to have on the show. I know the crowd doesn't really like comedy matches. Was she unhappy to Luther? Yeah, she didn't want to put him over. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, let's do a comedy match. Like an eight minute comedy match. Drew's very unhappy. The audacity, yeah, she's 14. <laughs> she doesn't want to put over Luther? Like, what? And then this will go right before the Luther Busick match. That's good. Now, who are my stars? Not really anyone. Okay, cool. Cool. That's awesome. Where is everyone? Where do you all go? There you go. There you are. There my stars are. Hmm. T 
Tina Ferrari, maybe? Let's... Who has skills? I don't know. No one? Rolling hard? <laughs> oh, Christian York does. Christian York has skills. Dirt Bike Kid has a little bit. Trent Acid. Okay, let's do Trent Acid. No. <laughs> Trent Acid. Tom Carter. And Trailer Park Trash. Did I have Trent in a match last time? Yes. It was Trent and Jimmy. Okay. It was Trent and Jimmy. So I want... Here, let's do, let's do Trent versus York in just a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And I'm going to have that be a steal the show match. And let's give Trent the win there. And then... Oh, I want an angle with the Cat Burglar and Duke Josie. And the Cat Burglar is going to steal Duke Josie's uh, garbage. And Duke Josie's going to be really mad. And he's going to attack him. And during the match, uh, he'll hit him with his garbage to beat him or something. I don't know. It's it's the cat burglar in Duke Jersey. What do you want from me? <laughs> so this sounds awesome. So this is obviously going to happen. And then... Spellbinder and Tina Ferrari need to be used. Hmm. Let's have Tina Ferrari versus Andrew Martin. And Tina Ferrari wins that. Yeah. I like that. I don't know, like 11, 11 minutes or so. And then... Uh, I mean, obviously I have to put Spellbinder in a match. Let's put Spellbinder with... Let's put Spellbinder against Jack Black. Yeah. And have that be like a five minute match. And a Spellbinder will win. Decisively. That's just a regular match. And before that, Spellbinder magic tricks. So he's going to do a little magic display before that match. Show off his spells. Who are my who are my people? Dick Dick Kroll and and um, Nelson Royal. They can they can work on that one. 
Give me a 4v4 with Wife Beater, Trailer Park Trash, Tom Carter, and Homeless Jimmy against... Bobby Roode, James Storm, Chris Harris, and uh, Sp Spider? No, Spider's in another stable already. Mentallo? Could be. Yeah, let's do Mentallo in that one. I like that. I'm going to have Tom Carter win that by pinning Mentallo. And that can be like 10 minutes. That's fine. I want... So we're using pretty much everyone. I need a Ron Killings match, obviously, against, let's have Ron Killings versus Jazz, and then he can beat Jazz pretty easily. Mm. You know, like eight minutes or so, and then... This match can work the crowd. This will be the first match it will work the crowd. Great. Then we'll put on um, Acid York immediately after. No, not immediately after. After doing Martin Ferrari. That's good. Then Ron Killings Jazz. Spellbinder, Jack Black Spellbinder, Armed Forces Touchdown, Burglar, great. That's all perfect. And I could add another match to the show, like one more match. Um, or actually, hold on. Yeah, one, one more match. Just a quickie. Let's do Keith Hart versus Tony Broadway. Actually, did I do that last show? I did. <laughs> I literally did that at last show. Let's do Spider versus Keith Hart. And give Spider the win. Yeah. And then I can just throw that, like... Maybe here? Sure, the show will lull in the middle, but that's fine. It'll start out strong and it'll end strong, hopefully. Now... Mm, Give me an angle where it's just just an angle where Chavo, Mando, and Hector, Ron Bass, and Hardys. Just where they kind of like set up for the match and hype it up a little. That's all. Yeah, and that'll that'll start the sh er, I'll do I'll do that after this because last time they didn't like that I hyped the crowd with this one. Yeah, I think that should work. I think this should work as a show, hopefully, 
Hopefully it's better than the first one at the very least. Holy shit, a 48! We're already getting better! Wow, this match got the show off to a strong start. Very good. Okay. Okay. That's great. Tom Carter did a great job. Perfect. Chavo doesn't have the microphone skills to be talking for four minutes. Like, are you serious? It's four minutes. He doesn't have to be talking the whole time. There are five other people there. Tina Ferrari defeats Andrew Martin in her debut match. Trent Acid defeats Christian York with a 54. Crowd loved it. That's perfect. I'm, I'm very happy about that match. Spider defeated Keith Hart. That's good. Ron Killings defeated Jazz. Ron Killings putting on a 50. Let's go. Let's go. Aw, oh, he's the man. Spellbinder has debuted his magician gimmick. Of course, it's very marketable. I agree. Spellbinder defeats Jack Black. Spellbinder put on a pretty good performance, actually. Armed Forces defeated Team Touchdown. And, um, you know, not bad. I'm, I'm pleased. Okay, they don't like the, this, despite heel and face not mattering in this company. Corporal Robinson and Colonel Red have excellent chemistry. Air Paris and Colonel Red are a good pairing. Very nice. I'm like, Colonel Red is, is just amazing at managing them. Cat Burglar and Duke Drozzy match. Losses hurt momentum more than usual. Gives a large penalty to charisma. That doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> that does not make sense at all for that gimmick. So the Cat Burglar defeats Duke Drozzy. They're both terrible. I'll probably get rid of them pretty quickly. Dr. Luther defeats Wesna Busick and holy fuck! Wesna Busick outperforms him by far. I... Jeez. More time in order to tell the story. Okay, so I've learned that um, this... Oh, wait! I read it wrong. It totally does need to be longer. It needs to be at least 15 minutes. That's totally my bad. I'll, uh, I'll fix that in the future. I'm getting used to the look. I'm getting used to the product. I gotta I gotta learn how to book the product. I will book it better in the future. Jeff Hardy carried this match to an insane success. It was a great match, and I'm very happy to have made it my main event. It was the second best match on the show after Trent Acid and Christian York. So Jeff Hardy. You're being praised for a great performance. Christian York. Praised for a great performance. And Trent Acid. Praised for a great performance. You three fucking killed it. Great job. R-Truth, Ron Killings, you're, 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 you're close. You're up there. Amazing job. And that is the stream. We've done the first month of the company. I'll, I'll sim the rest of it off screen. I'm sure nothing crazy is going to happen. But that is the first month of the new company, TMG. Total Mac Gladiators. And, um, how... How did we do? Extremely positive. It was a great show. It was in Illinois. So we're, we're, we're doing a little touring. A little touring. As a treat. And uh, I'd say that did pretty freaking well for a local company. Pretty freaking well. Alright. I will see you next time. Thank you for coming to the stream yet again. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.